Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night, whatever it may be for you. Today is video number three in my wedding planning series, and if you guys have missed any of the past videos, I'll go ahead and leave the playlist in the description box down below. That way you can go ahead and check it out after this video, of course. For today, I'm talking all about the details, so everything that went into the little details and decor for my wedding day. Of course, we may have completely different styles and different tastes, but everything that I'm gonna share today are websites that are completely customizable to fit exactly what it is you're looking for for your big day. So cozy up, grab a cup of coffee or a snack because I'm gonna be breaking down everything that I used from websites to Etsy shops and creators to make our dream wedding day come to life. So I think the easiest place to start is going to be where I personally started in the process and that was with all of my paper products. So of course everyone's timeline is going to be completely different, I mentioned this in my very first video that I posted, but I'm just hoping that some of these resources can be a help to you guys in your process because I didn't necessarily have a ton of help during my process. My wedding planner didn't come in until about six months out. So for almost six months, I was on my own, planning things myself and figuring it out along the way. So to start for my wedding day stationery, I used minted.com. And if you guys don't know about minted, you're definitely gonna wanna check them out. This is not sponsored at all, but I just love how their website is laid out. So when you go onto their actual website under stationery, they have an entire section that is just geared toward your wedding day. They have pretty much any and every color scheme, design, font, coloring that you could ever want. So make sure to check them out after this video so that you can find some of your stationary needs hopefully for your big day. When I first started with minted.com, it was when I was searching for my save the date. So of course, if you guys are having a super short engagement, you can just go ahead and skip this step. Save the dates aren't necessary for everyone, but because Nate and I had about 11 month engagement, I just wanted to let friends and family know like, hey, what's up? Nate and I are engaged. This is our wedding date, so make sure to mark your calendars. So we used minted.com to just take a photo that we already had done. They have like a really cool section where you can click like upload photo and you can put in any photo of your choosing and then it'll generate a design preview. We love the process because they have super nice support team. Any questions that I had, I could just go into the little chat box and be like, hey, could I change this color or this font? I believe minted.com is probably the best stationary site out there in my opinion. And then once it was time to get into invitations, I definitely did shop around at this point just because I had such a specific vision of what I wanted our invites to look like. I was really into like the custom paper feel with the deckled edges, really pretty like sketch of your venue and a lot more of the custom artists in my town seemed to be able to be the only ones who could do that. So anytime I looked through Minted, like they didn't offer that type of paper or that type of look. So I really did my research that way. Once I shopped around enough and realized, okay, some of the custom artists are a little bit out of our price range. How can I make this work on Minted? I got in there, got with the support team, and I expressed to them what it was I was looking to do for my suite, and they totally came through. And our invitation suite turned out better than I could have ever imagined, and I'll of course put some clips in here showing you what it ended up looking like for the final result. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the paper products we had for our actual wedding day. So welcome cards, escort cards, and everything like that. So I moved over to an Etsy shop actually for this because 
We saved so much within our invites on Minted that I was able to splurge a little bit on some of these paper products. I used an Etsy website, I have it up right here. It's called Caracol, I believe that's how you say it, Caracol Creative. Again, I'll link everything down below or put it up on the screen here. But this woman was so amazing to work with. Every idea that I wanted and, you know, image that I would show her for examples and inspiration, she nailed it. I went through her to get all of our welcome cards, which I put on everyone's place setting. She did a sketch of the house up top, which was the same sketch like JPEG that I used for Minted. Also, sorry if I sound sick, I'm literally still recovering from this flu, cough and cold. It's awful and I have like a froggy man voice, so just disregard. And then she created our place cards and our escort cards. So we had a big, huge wall and we pinned every couple's name up. It's what's called an escort card, so they can just grab it and see what table number they were at. And then once they got to their place setting, we had each individual person's name placed in front of their chair. So she was able to complete that entire suite for me she was amazing, highly recommend her, 10 out of 10 during that process. She also created our petal toss bags and we wanted like for our formal exit after our ceremony for all of our guests to just toss flower petals so that as we were walking out, the photographer and videographer could get a really special, pretty moment there. So within her shop, she also had really cute little petite bags and I could tell we could fit petals perfectly down in there. So she did an N and L with our wedding day on it. And I absolutely loved how they turned out. Of course, it was so simple, just another little detail, but it just made the whole wedding day come together and all the little details added up to make the day such a dream. For some other paper products and random miscellaneous things in the paper arena, I'm gonna go rapid fire just so this video doesn't get like 30 minutes long, even though I'm pretty sure it already is going to be super long. So here's to hanging out with me. Next up were my vow books. I got a lot of questions about our vow books. And again, it was the super pretty custom paper, like handmade paper would be considered with the pretty deckled edges. I loved this company, it was called Our Vows. I found them through Etsy just by searching vow books and they were one of the top result. Love those vow books, they're so pretty, so beautiful. I'm gonna put them in like a big shadow box with all of our little keepsakes from that day. Next up were my family little cards that I wanted to give my mom and dad and my in-laws. That was from a company called Lucky Notes on Etsy. I loved their product, it came super quick, very inexpensive, and um, yeah. For Nate and I, we each did uh, wedding day cards to each other, so again, we kept those. It was a really special moment in the morning of our wedding when we exchanged gifts. We were able to just open cards and read what each of us were feeling. So those cards were from Coco Press Designs. Again, everything I'm talking about will be in the description box below as a link, so you guys can go ahead and check it out yourself. Last of all were our drink menus. So we had two bars at our wedding. We only did beer and wine, but I really wanted just an easy place for our guests to walk up and see, oh, okay, they have this type of wine or this beer, whatever. So we used a downloadable link, their website, or company was called Magnolia Papers and Company. Again, super easy, I think it was only $5. They had like 50 designs to choose from when it came to like drink options. So let's say you were having signature cocktails, a really good option would be this drink menu because you could make it whatever look you wanted. So a red drink, a green and blue drink with a lime, like it's totally customizable, it was so fun. And then we just put it on a flash drive, took it into Staples, and printed it off. Next, I wanna go over any of the smaller details that we use, so keepsakes for photos, bridal party gifts, any miscellaneous item like that. So going off of our paper products, I'll just move right into the wax seals that I used. I don't know about you guys, but I knew right when I was doing all of the paper products and invites and all of that, I really wanted little wax seals. I just love the look of them. I saw them all over Pinterest and I was just like obsessing over having 
wax seals. So the company that I used was Venus Envy Paper and the creator is named Nikki. She was like a goddess. I loved working with her during this process. From start to finish, she was literally like, she would respond in a second, no joke. And she was like so on top of it and there to help and I just can't say enough good things about her. My idea that I had was very simple. It was, I'm gonna order, so let's say you have uh, tables one through 10. I was like, okay, I'm gonna order 15 of each, so 15 number ones, 15 number twos, etc. So let's say in your case, you know, oh, for each table that I have at my wedding, it's only going to be an eight top. So you would only order one through however many eight tops you had and eight of each, if that makes sense. So I ordered, I think, one through 10 table numbers and then a letter H for head table. So that way I had these wax seals, I had the cards with everyone's names, and when it came time to officially decide, okay, for this huge long table, these are the exact people sitting at that table, so they're all gonna get a number eight stuck on their card. And I was like, hey, I feel like other brides would wanna know about this because that way you don't have to pay for all these cards with the actual table number printed on it. Let's say something changes or you need to move things around last minute. It's so much easier to hold off on sticking the wax seal to the card. So little pro tip for you guys there. The other way that I use this was for people's meal selections. So if you guys have a caterer where you're doing just like a full blown plated meal, this will apply to you. So I used her website for the table numbers and then another side of her shop had little like floral sprigs, crowns, crosses, like all those types, of, like stars, different types of little icons that you could actually imprint onto the wax seal. So because we did more of like a greenery garden theme, I thought how pretty would it be if we were able to do like a little green sprig. It's really cute how everything came also. Her packaging was like the best. So they came in like these little brown boxes but they were wrapped in really pretty like loose ribbon and then stamped on top was like her signature little wax seal. So I love that. Okay, so they come like this. They're basically just a bunch of wax seals and on her website, Etsy shop, when you go there, you'll be able to see there's like several different options. So they had like an organic seal, a natural seal, I don't know, I don't remember like the exact names, but I think I went with the organic look because nothing was perfect. This box was everything that has like all of the table numbers in it. And then for the meal choices, as you guys can see, possibly, I had like a gray, rose gold, pink, and white. And it was really cool because it went on everyone's little name card depending on what they wanted to eat. And that way when the servers came out, they were able to see who was eating what. So next up was my wedding dress hanger. And I knew without a doubt that for photos, I really wanted to have a hanger that had my new last name on it. So that way our photographer could take pictures of it. And so this is what my hanger looks like. It's a really pretty white wooden hanger and then it just has Mrs. Lynch. The Etsy shop, shop that I used for that was Clouds and Currents. And then um, my ring box that I got was from Phyllis Box, Phyllis Box, I don't know how to say that. The Mrs. Box is like the brand name, but to me those were very expensive for what they were. And I still love the look of having like a really pretty velvet ring box, but I didn't want to spend the Mrs. Box price. So I found one on Etsy. She was again, super nice. She showed me all the color range that she had. And I absolutely love specifically the photos. Like I love photos if you guys don't know. So I love how they turned out. Another awesome find was my garter. I really wanted like a super, glitzy, pretty garter. And so the Etsy shop I used was One Fancy Day. I love, love 
their product. So, so pretty. I've told so many other friends and brides-to-be about this and they love it as well. So check that out if you are in need of a really pretty custom garter. Okay, next up, we are going to jump in to bridesmaids and groomsmen gifts. For my actual wedding day, I knew that I wanted to give my girls some really pretty jewelry that they could wear and I wanted to have it in cute little bags. So I actually was on Amazon and I found these bags that say like, thank you so much for being my bridesmaid. Thank you for being my maid of honor. And the company was Juvail. That's on Amazon. I believe it was a pack of 11. So those worked out awesome. I just threw some tissue paper in there. I think it came with tissue paper actually, so that was nice. Next up were all the girls' robes. I was very specific on the color that I wanted. I didn't want like super bright pinks or blues, anything like that, and I had a hard time with this. But I finally stumbled upon Decor at Best is the Etsy shop, and they had the most gorgeous, soft looking, just good quality robes. I was obsessed when I found this. I looked through all their reviews and I just loved like the little trim detail on the sleeves and the bottom of the robe. And so I instantly ordered those for all of my girls and my mom and my mother-in-law also. I got like a lighter soft pink. And for the jewelry, I had two separate orders. They were both from Amazon. I found a really pretty necklace and earrings from Umode. Umode, don't know how to say that, but I will show you screen shares and links will be down below. But I love this because I wanted something super simple. I knew that my wedding day jewelry was going to be very simple, so I wanted the girls to have something that kind of complemented that but then it wasn't gonna be just for like wedding day attire, if that makes sense. I wanted them to be able to wear some of these pieces after the day on date nights or just going out. I searched long and hard for these pieces and then I found a really pretty bracelet that I thought would go nice and I had the, a similar bracelet that I wore on the wedding day. And that was from an Amazon site called J Feet. I loved it, it looked so, so good on all my girls and you could tell they really loved all of the pieces. My battery died, I'm talking up a storm. Sorry if anything changed too much. I had to like get you off of there and put a new battery in. Actually gave my girls champagne flutes in their bridesmaid proposal boxes. So that was like way, way before the wedding day, but I asked them if they could all bring their champagne flutes to the wedding, which I know maybe was a lot to ask, but I really wanted photos of all of us holding our glasses, so they all had glasses that said their names, and then I ordered one that said bride. That was from Big Three Vic Tree, is the Etsy shop. They were super nice, again, to work with. I had great experiences with all of these different creators. And then for Nate's guys, he did custom dark wood pocket knives. So again, we used a Etsy shop for that and they were called Personalized Pros. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they were located in Florida. That was the Etsy shop. So this was kind of a little bit of a last minute decision. And once we decided on it and found them, it was like so nice because they were local. So it didn't take long at all for shipping. But of course, check all of these sites that I'm sharing with you guys because depending on where you live, it's gonna depend on your shipping time. Next up, as far as gifts go, were my parents' gifts. So I got my mom and dad personalized handkerchiefs so that I could give them to them in the morning of my wedding. Had little personalized notes for me and um, I was so happy with how they turned out. So the Etsy shop I used for that was the Polka Dotted Bee, and I love their product. And then for my dad, I wanted to do two really sweet things that I saw. So one were cufflinks, and I saw this as I was just kind of scrolling through Etsy. The funniest part was when I gave them to my dad, his suit did not have cufflink spot so that was pretty funny we had a laugh but of course he kept them just as the keepsake and memory and then the second gift that I gave my dad was a really cute tie patch so I actually ordered my dad's tie I kept it at my apartment and then when this tie patch came it was super easy super simple instructions but I think it said of all the walks I've taken this is by far or we've taken this is by far my favorite love Laura 
And so I was able to iron it on actually the back of his tie patch. So I'll show you guys a couple of photos of what that turned out like. But I was so happy with it and of course gave him a, a good cry. He loved it and I was so happy that I could just give them something to just say thank you. What a special day and oh my gosh, it was the best. If you guys have made it this far, we are at the end, almost. I just wanna talk about my wedding ceremony and reception details. So this is gonna be like my wedding guest book, my wedding signs, and everything like that. So let's chat about those details. First up is my wedding guest book. So I had a very specific vision for this. We thought just a really nice, sleek design would be super pretty and timeless for our wedding day. I used Etsy once again, and the shop that I used was Juniper and White. So I loved the reviews. Every bride that was on there posted an example of what their wedding book looked like, and I was in love with it. So I just chose a very bright white for the cover, and then kind of a foiled look for Laura and Nathaniel with our date and the town we got married in. Next up is our wedding welcome sign. This is huge and it's in the other room. I'm not gonna try to lift it up. So I knew kind of a reoccurring theme for our wedding day was like a gray wash wood. So we had a lot of like really pretty kind of fancier elements, but we paired it with like a little bit more like earthy, like the greens and the wood and all that. So once I came across this welcome sign, I was like, oh my gosh. Found this Etsy shop and it was Timeless Accessory Inc. And they just did such an amazing job with our wedding sign. I cannot, again, say good enough things about this shop. Love our wedding sign. I'm gonna be framing that. Like I said, I'm gonna put it as like the back portion of our shadow box. And then I'm gonna put our vow books and all those little details in there with it i'm so excited like i mentioned we had a huge table that kind of just held like our guest book and all those types of little details and then we had some photos of friends and family that have passed away so i had a really really beautiful sign kind of acrylic with a little candle that sat in the back and the etsy shop that i used was the painted hedge and I'm actually lending that right now to a friend of mine who's getting married in May so she can use it for her table. But I loved the look of it. I thought it was so pretty. We had like a little wooden guest book sign and then a sign that we put on the wagon that our little nephew came down the aisle in and it said, Uncle Nate, here comes your girl. And so their site was Sweet NC Collective. They were super timely. The signs were able to be made so quick and then we had one of our other nephews hold a sign that said, don't worry ladies, I'm still single. And that was La Da Da Gifts. I really hope that this video was fun and helpful for you guys because I know how daunting this part of the process is. I've been there, I walked through it, and I definitely was overwhelmed when it came to researching, trying to find you know, forums or Pinterest posts blog posts all about like the best sites, the paper products, all of it, it was so overwhelming. So I hope this video and this entire series can just be a good resource for you brides to be. I really hope that if you have any questions, you will feel comfortable just leaving them down below in the comment section. You can find me on Instagram and DM me. I get a lot of brides asking me there. Never ever hesitate to reach out to me. I love helping you guys. I love chatting with you guys, it's so fun to me. Definitely make sure to check out this video. You're gonna wanna hear what went down in this story time. It was crazy. And then click here if you want to watch the first video of this series, which was all about my wedding planning process. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a great and beautiful day or night, whatever it may be for you, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.